Hey everyone, it's Jan from RuPaul's Drag Race and I was just on the pit stop for RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 with Trixie Mattel. Here is my look for the episode and I'm gonna show you how I got into it. So if you like what you see, keep on watching. All right, everyone, so let's get to it. I am so, ooh. Is that better? Oh, nope, definitely not. Girl, I don't know. We're just gonna not have to, oh, oh. How did that fall? Sickening. Okay, can I move this girly? <gasps> wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 that light almost just toppled over. <gasps> wow, that would've been, oh no, she's still on the fritz. Okay. I think this looks good. All right, ah, oh, it's hot in here. Hold on. Move back to the middle and around again. I wish I can get like another. Oh well, that's not bad actually. Up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm applying primer right now. I use two different primers. Okay. If you think my eyeballs look a little bit different, then you are say it with me. Correct. Um, I just put in my contacts off camera because I was like, you know what? I know that people don't really care for that. I know that a lot of people are freaked out by it. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm just not gonna do that and put it on. Cause, cause nobody really complained. No one was like, oh, thank God. Thank God that you did this off camera. I have such a fear of people touching their eyes. The one time I did it on camera, on live, so many comments, could have been a hundred. There could be a hundred comments in the room. 99 people don't care that you touch your eyes. Oh, actually, no, that's not the acronym. Saying, gee. And that's not the old proverb. That's not how the proverb goes. But yeah, so I, I don't do that anymore. Unless you want me to. <laughs> okay, so I'm applying color corrector, obviously. I just kind of did that without um, telling you. So yeah. And obviously, you know that I am getting ready right now for the pit stop. Yay. Um, I'm so excited to be asked to do the pit stop. It's a really cool honor and I'm so happy. Um, I need a paper towel. 100% from the back to the middle and around again. And the roof and the royal growl. Color corrector on. We set it with our translucent powder. Now we're gonna put on some foundation. I use Derma Blend for my base. Do do do. Okay, that should be more than enough. I watched this TikTok yesterday, and it was this woman who was like, "If you can say today that you are in a better place." than you were yesterday with any of your goals. If you can say, I am in a better place today than I was yesterday, then that's amazing. And I wanted to share that with all of you because I think that it's good for anything that you're doing in your lives. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing right now, but I am blending out my highlights using a beauty blender that is different than my foundation one. I used two different ones. This is the one that I put on the Derma Blend with, and then this is the one that I put on my Krylon TV paint stick with, but I use other Krylon TV paint sticks. I only use this pink one for my highlights because I don't want any of the lightness of this to get mixed up with the base shade because I want those whites to be super bright. So that's a little trick, a little trick. Okay, so we just put our 11W on in the Krylon TV paint stick and we're gonna take the bottom of the base shade um, beauty blender that we used earlier and we are just going to blend all of that out. And y'all, I'm just tap, tap, tapping. Use, I would say, small circular motions. And then when you're gonna blend into your base foundation, just use the side that you use. See how it's creating this super smooth blurring effect? That's like, that's, that's the magic of the beauty blender. And that's how blending came to be. The name of the book is Model Land. I was driving down the FDR and the idea of 
a book series came to my mind. I get asked, supermodel, what does that mean? You guys have superpowers? And I said, you know what, yeah. So I jot it down. Modeling boarding school. Maybe supermodels do have superpowers. So maybe I should do this book in fantasy land, in adventure, and have magic like these journalists used to joke about. And then that's how Model Land came to be. And then some of the areas where you blend it a little too far, you can take your other beauty blender and, and reinforce those highlights again. But you can't really do that unless you have a second beauty blender. Because if I was trying to blend all this together with the one that I used the white on, everything would get muddy and we don't want that. Am I like a little too carved right now? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're loving what we're seeing. We're Lottie loving what we're seeing. Except for the fact that I'm sweating. I just knew that when I had to be on camera for something, I would I, I would sweat profusely. I'm gonna get a rag and put it on my back. Oh, that's lovely, gal. Much better! Much better! Okay, now we're gonna take, oof, wow, I have a chill. My nipples are hard. Now we're gonna take our 2W Crown Cheek Stick and we're gonna cut the cheek. From the cheek to the middle. Oh, I gotta stop. Because this shade is close, is, is very close to our base. It's a little bit lighter but then we blend it in with our base foundation. It creates another layer and more dimension while still giving us an even finish throughout. 100%. All right, we're taking 9W on the Bridge Bridgerton of our nose. Haven't watched that show. So we have that 9W and what we're gonna do is we are going to blend with our fingers. We're gonna blend um, up and down. Like blend up there, and then blend down a little bit, just to get that, to get the perfect texture for running. I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow, so your feet don't get wet. Here, like he said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? But we want to make sure that it is defined, but also blended. Gorge. So we are going to immediately get our translucent setting powder and put it down all over your face. And for this, I am using the Ben Nye translucent powder in the color Fair. Sorry, I just have to adjust my paper towel to stay on my back. Also, oh my God, I need to shave my armpits. I don't love armpit hair. Am I alone in that? I just kind of wiped my lips off, realizing I still have to put more powder on. And that powder is Super White from Ben Nye. So we're gonna put that all over the areas where we had our highlight. Okay, so now that that is down, we are going to start on our brows. For the brows, I use the Anastasia Duo Brow Powder. I use this in the color chocolate. Um, and I take the lighter shade first, and that's where I basically like map out where I'm going to put this brow. So I'm looking into the mirror right above, and I'm going, okay, there, that's good. Then I go right above. So obviously we're mapping it out. I kind of start my arch for my brow right where my pupil ends or where this contact ends basically. And it just kind of lifts it. Now I know that this brow is looking absolutely kookarach right now. She is kookarach mama. But we're gonna fix it up in two seconds. So to clean this up, we're gonna take our 070 and a little flat brush, and we're just gonna clean it up. Okay, so the brow is where I want it to be. Basically, all I'm going to do now is just take some of these little pens that I have. Basically, all I'm doing is just drawing to make little hairs. And I have three different colors, and I kind of just ombre them out. Bam, gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna do the other one off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. I think they're looking pretty good. We are going to dip into the James Charles palette today. I'm going to be taking Punch Me, and I'm going to 
be placing this all on my crease. I do put this a little bit higher up, maybe probably a little bit above my crease actually, not on my crease. I also have to say when you're blending your eyeshadows and stuff like this, only use fluffy brushes. And that is a tip that I learned from my sister, Laguna Blue, from the incredibly iconic, world-renowned girl group, Stephanie's Child. Okay, now that Punch Me is down, we're going to dip into tea, and this we're literally going to put on the crease. You can see it's just a little bit lower than where we put Punch Me, and we are blending those two shades together. So I'm using two different brushes right now, going back and forth between tea and Punch Me just because I want to get that perfect gradient and blend. And we're starting to get that for sure. You can see she's looking pretty lovely right now. Okay, so now that's on the eyes. We're going to dip into our darkest shade, which is gonna go on the outer third and like slightly below the um, natural crease that I have. And this is in the shade of Benny. I kind of just tap this one on and like blend upwards and then go right into that socket. And when you're using the darkest shades, like when you're using a dark brown, a black, you need to make sure that you are not using too much. You can always add more. It's much harder to take things away. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Benny and we're going to put it on our waterline. And we're only gonna bring it to about where our eyeball uh, begins. And it's just gonna give us a little bit more of a contour to make our eyes a little bit more smoky, a little bit more, you know, sickening, honestly. Okay, so now we're gonna take the 070 Krylon TV paint stick and we are going to cut a crease out. And it's kind of in the shape of like a sunset. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is just carve it out like where your natural crease is. I know that not everybody has that, so you need to figure out where you want to place it. And mama, I changed my crease shape so often. It is totally fine to play around and to find out what shape works for you, okay? Cool, so I'm pretty happy with how that is. What we're going to do is we're gonna take this little fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip it into Ben Nye Fair and I'm going to place that on the outer third and the center of my crease. And that is to set it so that when we put on the other shades to ombre out the eye, it doesn't get muddy. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna dip back into Benny. I'm going to put that onto the outer third. Okay, so that's there. We're gonna take T. I'm gonna put that in the middle. From the back to the middle. <laughs> Last time I'm doing it. <laughs> and then punch me. So obviously I did not set this inner third part with the translucent powder because what we're gonna do right now is we're going to take our Sugar Pill Taco shade and we are going to fill that in. And because we already have a base, and because we already have a base of the Krylon TV paint stick, we are going to get a super, super pigmented combination and it's going to make our eyes look much bigger. Gorge. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, the crease is all done and set, looking absolutely stunning. Now we're gonna move on to the eyeliner. I have my House Labs eyeliner here, and we're just going to move up the eye, going towards where the end of the eyebrow is. Gorge. And all we're gonna do is go down in one motion and go to basically where the middle of your eyeball is. And then fill it in. Then I'm gonna take this micro felt tip eyeliner from House Labs, and I'm going to start at the inside of my eye right here and just make a thin, thin line and attach it to this um, line that we got going on right there. And there we have it. Okay, so that completes the eyes. We are looking pretty stunning, I have to say. We are almost done with the entire face. We just have to do some contouring, some highlighting, and um, some details. But what we're gonna do right now is take off all of the excess powder that has pretty much baked into our skin anyways at this point right now. Also shout out to the lighting over here coming from my beautiful windows. So I like to contour with the James Charles palette as well. I'm gonna take the shade Punch Me and um, I am going to put it on to my forehead. Okay, now we're going to just go on the temple and right here onto that cheek. Gorge, stunning. 
Same on the other side. And you kind of want to just keep it on the places where you put your cream contour so that it just all lines up. You don't go outside of the lines. Looks really pretty. And I never want the jaw to be too dark at all. So I literally just use Punch Me on the lower half um, for my chin. Then before we end with the contour, we are going to take a little fluffy brush, dip it on to Punch Me as well. And that is what we are going to use to contour our nose, just like so. Now we're gonna leave this for two seconds. We're going to bronze and then we're going to highlight. We'll clean this up in just one second. But right now we are going to use some bronzer. I use the Too Faced Born This Way in Milk Chocolate Soleil. And then I put it right above that contour on my cheeks. Just really warming everything up. And then I'll put it underneath that contour on my forehead. Now we are going to use some blush. I use this La Femme blush that I've had for so long in the shade Rust. And I know some people are probably gonna be like, it's old, you shouldn't use it. Well, it still works, so I'm gonna keep it gorge. I know that the blush looks a little bit intense right now, but we are going to blend that out with the highlight. Nikki Doll actually told me about this product. It's the Nikita Dragon Highlight Palette and um, kind of looks like this. And I just take my brush and I literally just dab it on there um, and, and truly coat it. And then I put it in all of my highlight areas. So here we go. I mean, it's blurring, it's everything. And I mean, look at the difference from this side to that side. Gorgeous, so both sides are complete now, but we still have to work on the nose. We're gonna take that um, highlight powder and we are going to put it on the bridge of our nose and we're gonna clean up the sides as well. So I kind of just take a little small fluffy brush and then use it here. And I kind of let that sit for a moment, but I mean, hello, she's snatched. Gorgeous, so now that it is pinched, we're gonna go in the middle. I'm sorry, this is like the most boring thing on the planet, but I really wanted everyone to just see how I become the beautiful woman you see before you. <laughs> okay, then I just take the brush that I use to put my contour on and I kind of just diffuse the edges and we get this. I mean, come on. Okay, so right now we are going to do two things. We're gonna do the lips, but before we do that, I wanna put a little bit of white liner right underneath my eye right here in the inner corner just to make it open a little bit more. And that's gonna dry while we do our lips. So I just really tightly put it on that line just like that. All right, now we're gonna take this Ben Nye lip pencil in, I think it's called French Roast. Bam! Whoa! <laughs> Literally covering it. Influencer, oh my God, it works! Put the pudding. Okay, now we're going to line our lips. I overdraw mine. Basically what I do for this is I create a little bit of a heart shape and then I bring it to the corners and it kind of goes like a slope. It's like a, woo! Got that. And then underneath, all I basically did was just did a little circle, and now I'm just gonna fill it in. Gorgeous, now that they are filled in, I'm gonna take this liquid lip from Too Faced, I think it's called Child Star, and I'm going to put that on my lips. While that is drying, we are going to put this cream lipstick over top of it. It is Charlotte Tilbury in the color Kim KW. And then we're just gonna blend that out. Gorgeous, and now my personal favorite part is the lip gloss. And this is North Jacobs in the color Cream and Sugar. Now that that is done, we only have a couple things left to do. One of those things is mascara, and we're gonna do that right now. It's just like random mascara. I think it's Maybelline. And then I just put that on the top and the bottom, because I'm bursting in that way. Okay, now we're gonna get our dewy set and we're gonna spray the face. While that is drying, we are going to get a little fluffy brush, the same one that we used for the highlight. And on that, we're going to put Icy, which is a pigment from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we are gonna put that on our nose right about there. 
And you wanna make sure you do that first so that the cheeks have a moment to settle because then you're going to take a little fluffy brush. Well, actually, this is probably medium size. And you are going to put that on your cheek. And you don't want to put it on when it's a little too wet because then it gets splotchy. But when it's dewy, it's having fun isn't hard. When you've got a library card, having fun isn't hard. When you've got a library card, who is dewy? You'll know with some trial and error that when it's a little bit dewy, you will be able to get that pigment to really, really shine without that patchiness. So that's that. Now we are glowing and absolutely radiant. We have one last step, which is eyelashes. And I have a combination of lashes. I put them together myself. They're like a custom pair. Get a little bit of lash glue, place it on. Oh, I mean, come on. People always ask, when is the moment you really become Jan? And it, it is when I put my lashes on. I gotta be honest with you. Okay, so that is the upper lash, and you can totally stop here, but I like to do a lower lash too to just give it a little bit more dimension, make it a little wispier, a little more. Uh -huh. Basically, what I do is I do one on the outside of my eye, I do one in the center of my eye, and then I do one on the inside of my eye. And there we have it, y'all. Here is the completed face. I'm gonna go put on my outfit and my hair, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. All right, everyone, here is the finished look. I'm absolutely living my fantasy right now. I really wanted an outfit that screams, I am from New Jersey, and I think that we accomplished it. I also wanted to say, if you like money, you want more money, wear a suit. All right, everyone, I love you all so much. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment on your favorite part about this video, and I will see you next time on my channel. Mwah.